All right, the last thing we're going to talk about in our organic chemistry part are nucleic acids. Now, nucleic acids serve a very specific function. Okay, first of all, they are large organic molecules. And what they are to do, their function, is to store and process information. At the molecular level. The molecular level itself. Okay. Now there are two types two main types of nucleic acids. The first is deoxyribonucleic acid. You all know it as DNA. Deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA. Now what DNA does it's the storage it's the storage of your genes your genes and genes are the code for proteins okay that's what a gene is so basically what dna does is it is responsible for your inherited characteristics oh let's spell that correctly Okay. It is, it directs protein synthesis. And protein synthesis is something we're going to talk about when we actually talk about the cell, which is going to be within the next uh, group of, group of uh, lectures that we have. Okay. It is responsible for enzyme production. Okay. It is responsible for metabolism. Okay. Metabolism itself. Okay. Uh, it controls metabolism. Now, metabolism, how, how a lot of people think of metabolism is only half of metabolism. A lot of people think metabolism is the food you eat and, and how you process that food. There is a better way to think of metabolism. And that is metabolism is the sum total of all the reactions that go on in your body at any given time. Okay, that's, that's, that's what metabolism is. And consuming food is only a part, part of that. Okay, consuming food is where we get the energy to carry out the functions of metabolism. Okay, so that's what it is. So... That's DNA, DNA, okay? You get half your DNA from your mama, half a DNA from your daddy, and that's where what makes you you, is your DNA, okay? Then the other type here we have, it's called a ribonucleic acid, which is RNA, RNA. So if you look at the difference between them, one is deoxy. Deoxy means missing or removed. I like removed or without. Ah, without is much better. D is without oxygen. Okay. And you're like, so there's an oxygen missing on one of the parts of DNA and the oxygen is present in RNA. Okay. Now, what ribonucleic acid does, it's basically, well, there's a bunch of ribonucleic acids. Okay. I'm going to give you the big ones. We have messenger RNA, and basically it carries messages from DNA to, to, the, to the cell, to outside of the nucleus. Then you have transfer RNA. 
and it transfers amino acids to build proteins. And then you have ribosomal RNA. So messenger RNA is called mRNA. Transfer RNA is called tRNA. Ribosomal RNA is rRNA. And there are others. There are other types of, of, of RNAs. Okay, there's like micro RNAs. And that's just off the top of my head. I was reading my physiology book not too long ago, and there was like three RNAs that I'd never seen before. And we're going to find more RNA as we keep looking at the cell. Okay, but these are the big three. These are the big three, the ones that I want you to know about messenger RNA, transfer RNA, and ribosomal RNA because they are the big the, the big movers of protein synthesis. Now, people who have studied the cell will be like, well, no, the small nuclear RNAs are so important. I was like, yes, I will agree with you. They are important, but they are not important for a beginning class, for a beginning class. We need to know the, the basics, you know, and then you can start filling in these other things. Okay, so those are the types. We have deoxyribonucleic acid and we have ribonucleic acid. So now let's take a look at how they, the structure, the structure. Now, DNA and both RNA are basically just strings of nucleotides, strings of nucleotides. And there are three parts to these nucleotides. Saying, so the structure. And it is simply a nucleotide. And the structure of a nucleotide is this. There is a five carbon sugar. Called ribose. Okay, it's called ribose. Okay, there is, so that's part one, there's part two. There is a phosphate group. Let me clear that up. There is a phosphate group attached to the sugar. And then three, we have this thing called a nitrogen base. Okay. We have a nitrogen base. Okay. So to build this, all you do is you take your sugar. Okay, so there's our five carbon, well, let's say, here's our five carbon sugar, CH2, and you just attach that to a phosphate group. Attach that to a phosphate group, and then attached to the sugar, you have the nitrogen base. So that's that's the general structure, the general structure. So if you wanted to build these things out, so basically we can just do a little pentagram here, phosphate, a little pentagram here, sorry, and then a, and then a phosphate, a little pentagram here, and then we can put a phosphate up here, and then a nitrogen base, NB for nitrogen base, NB for nitrogen base, NB for nitrogen base. Okay, and that's how you make that's how you make your nucleic acid. Okay, and what that's called in here the the sugar and phosphate. This is called the backbone. This is the backbone, the sugar and phosphate backbone. Now the nitrogen bases. There are five nitrogen bases. So of the nitrogen bases, we're going to have one, the purines. Okay, and the purines are adenine and guanine. Okay, you know them as A and G. <laughs> Almost everybody I know, you know, student-wise, just forget the names. They just remember A and G. And they don't even remember that they're purines, okay? But I want you to, for the first test, to remember that adenine and guanine are your purines, okay? You don't have to remember the structure, that's not important. You just have to remember the purines are adenine and guanine, okay? And then two, two, we have these things called pyrimidamines. Oops, I'm gonna do it in a different color, just to make it, make it pop, make it pop a little bit. Okay, we're doing red, okay? PYR, 
pyrimidines. Yeah. And there are three of these. There's, let me do that green dot right here. Uniformity is important. We have cytosine. Most people know this as C, cytosine. You have thymine, which is T. And this is only in DNA. Okay, you only find thymine in DNA. Okay, and then you have uracil. Okay, and this is U. And this is only in RNA. It's only found in RNA. Okay, All right. So now when we build, when we build a nucleic acid, so what we're going to do is we're going to build a nucleic acid and here's how most people do it they do this as a backbone they do a simple backbone and then what they do is they draw a ladder okay so a c t g a g g c okay and then we're going to say well, what is this is this dna or is this rna well it's got a thymine in it so this has to be dna so this is dna dna exists as a double strand it is a double strand okay so that means double strand that means there is another strand that comes down this side and there are nucleic acids that will come out from the other direction okay? now the pairings are a purine will pair with a pyrimidine okay adenine a will bind with t and C will bind with G in DNA. And this is for DNA. This is for DNA. Okay. A will bind with T and C will bind with G. So what nucleotides are in the other strand? So it's going to be T, G, A, C, T, C, G. Because we have to have our base pairing. Okay. So that's how we build a DNA molecule. That's it. Okay, so that's it. So what I can do and what, what I will do on, on an exam is I will give you a strand of DNA. I'll give you a strand of DNA and I will tell you what's the other strand of DNA. And all you have to do is just pair it up. I mean, it's, it's really that simple. Really that simple. Okay. All right. Now, RNA, on the other hand, exists only as a single strand it only exists as a single strand so if we go here RNA okay oh um, before we talk about that so we, before we before we do that remember RNA is deoxyribose it is deoxyribose okay so you see this sugar so let me go back here so this sugar right here I'm going to erase this so it's clear Okay, so here, OH, OH right there. If we take that oxygen off, we take that oxygen off right here, and just have H, this is now RNA. Deoxy. Oh, sorry, that, sorry. It is now DNA. That is deoxyribose. And if I take this here and I put this OH right here, it is now RNA. That's it. That's 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 the difference between the backbones. That is it. So I'll do RNA and I'll put DNA right here. So pentose sugar. And B for nitrogen base. I'll square that off. Okay, so that's DNA. That's that's the difference between RNA and DNA on the backbone. Very little. However, however, that change that change is really big. DNA is really tough. It's really tough. I mean, you can put DNA in a table and it'll just stay there forever. But RNA, if you look at it wrong, it wants to break down. Okay, so they're they're totally different, totally different sugar 
backbone molecules. All right, so now RNA, RNA, so if I make the backbone of RNA, okay, it's only going to have one strand. It's only going to have one strand. So A, C, G, remember U, because there's no thymine in RNA, A, C, a, G, C. Now, I can't make you base pair RNA. I mean, th that's it. However, what I can do is where we get RNA from, from where we get RNA is actually DNA. So DNA. So if I have DNA, DNA, if I have a DNA strand, I'm just going to draw a DNA strand, and I have A, A, ooh, I about to put a U there, A, A, T, G, C, sorry, G, G, C, what will be the RNA? I'll say, draw out the RNA from this. And so it's really simple. You just go here. It's going to be U. It's going to be U. It's going to be A. It's going to be C. It's going to be C. And it's going to be G. Okay. So that is the base pairing for RNA. Okay. That's it. I mean that that's that's pretty simple. So now, how do these two relate? How do these two relate to each other? Okay. So DNA, DNA itself is like is is this. Okay. So we have what's called the nucleotide. This is the relationship. Okay. So we have two branches of nucleotide. We have DNA. And we have the RNA. Okay. And then the nucleotide has our three components. It's got the phosphate. It's got the sugar. And it's got the base. The sugar and the base together make this thing called the nucleoside. Okay. Not so important, but that's, that's just the way it is. Okay, so that's, that's their relationships to each other. So basically, all I need you to know, all you need to know is the structure, the general structure, the general structure of a nucleotide, okay, how we get DNA, how we get DNA, uh, sorry, how we get RNA from DNA, okay, and how it's built. Okay? Now, the last thing, the last thing here is I've talked about this thing called ATP. So, and ATP is adenosine triphosphate. And I've said that adenosine triphosphate is the battery of the cell. And adenosine triphosphate is a nucleotide. It is a nucleotide. So in that, we've got the ribose, which is the sugar. Attached to this, we have the adenosine. And attached to this ribose, I have the phosphate. That's one phosphate. I have another phosphate. And attached to that, I have another phosphate. Okay. okay. So adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate. One, two, three. That is ATP. ATP. Now, the thing about ATP is I'm going to modify this drawing a little bit. Is phosphates, these two phosphates right here, they really do not want to be on this molecule. They don't. They're so big. They're, they're so big that they really do not want to be there. And so those are very high energy bonds, very high energy bonds, and it's easy to cut them off. Okay. So the energy in this molecule, the energy in this molecule is not entirely spread throughout the molecule. It's actually in the bonds that hold the phosphates, that hold the phosphates. So if I want to get energy from this molecule, what I have to do is I have to break the bond that holds the phosphates on. And when you break the bonds that hold the phosphates on, this molecule releases energy, and that's how you get the energy to do things in your body, in your body itself. Okay? All right.
So I think that we are good on nucleic acids, nucleic acids, and we have officially gone through all of the the organic molecules that you will be responsible for on the first exam. And that's it. Celebrate. It's a big achievement.